Okay, so we are starting part two, and we're starting on round or row 14. Double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So, yes, row 14. Row 14 is pretty simple. Gonna back out of that a second. So, we are down here at the end of round or row 13. You're gonna chain one, two, three. Turn your work over and place a double crochet back into that same stitch. There you go. All right, chain one, two. And we're going to skip this cluster here, the com complex stitch. And we're going to place a double crochet into the chain one space after it. And now you're going to chain three, one, two, and three, and place a double crochet on the other side of your V stitch into the chain one space. Chain one, two, and three. Skip your next complex stitch and place a double crochet after it. That is your repeat all the way down the side. One, two, three. Skip your V stitch and place a double crochet into the chain one space after that V stitch. Chain one, two, three. And skip your complex stitch and place a double crochet into the chain one space after the complex stitch. Continue working down the side all the way until you get to the corner, the very center of our shawl. I will meet up with you and show you how to work the center of the shawl. Okay, I've reached the end of the first side and I'm down here at the center point of the shawl. I have chain two, double crochet into that chain space at the point of the shawl. Chain one, two. I'm sorry, that was a chain three, double crochet, now a chain two, double crochet back into that same chain space. Chain two, double crochet back into the same chain space. Chain one, two, double crochet back into that same chain space again. So you will have a total at the point of your shawl, four double crochets with three chain two spaces in between. Now we're gonna chain three, one, two, three, and place a double crochet directly after that very first cluster uh, complex stitch there. Chain one, two, three, skip your V stitch and place a double crochet into the chain one space. And repeat that down this side of the shawl and I will meet up with you when we have reached the end of this side and I'll show you how to finish this end. Okay, so I've reached the last double crochet between the last two major stitches, the V stitch and the complex stitch. Now we need to chain three and place two double crochets into this starting chain down here. So into the third chain, you're gonna place two double crochets. So we're mimicking what we started on the opposite side. One and two. Okay. 
So we have our two double crochets, a chain three, and then we start the pattern. And if you look back at the beginning here, we have the chain three, which represents the first double crochet and then the second double crochet, our chain space, and then we begin our pattern. So now we're ready to start on round or row 15. For row 15, you're gonna chain up three and turn your work. And you're gonna place a double crochet back into that same stitch. just like such. Okay, so next we're gonna be working into the tops of our double crochets. The very first one that we do is gonna be that same complex stitch like we did previously. So we're gonna go ahead and double crochet into our next double crochet. Chain one, and then start your complex. So from behind, there we go, yarn over, pull through all three, and chain one. Now we're going to go straight into the next double crochet and place a V stitch. So double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. just like that. That is your repeat all the way down the side. Gonna go straight into the next double crochet and do a complex stitch. Then we go to the next double crochet and place a V stitch. And continue that to the center point of your shawl and I will meet up with you. Okay, so once you have reached the center point of the shawl, if you go back and you count the complex stitches, you should have 10 of them down this side. That brings you to the second double crochet in that group of four double crochets with the chain spaces in between from the previous row. So that brings you all the way to the very center of the shawl. Now we're gonna work into that center chain space by doing what we did on the previous row. You're gonna place a double crochet chain one, two, double crochet, chain one, two, double crochet, chain one, two, and double crochet. So again, you will have four double crochets with three chain spaces in between. Now you're just going to simply work down the opposite side in pattern, starting with the complex stitch. In the very first double crochet after the center point. And then a V stitch into the next stitch. And continue working that 
all the way to the end. And when you've come down to your very last stitch, which is your chain three, you will place two double crochets into the third chain. I will meet up with you at that point. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin row 16. Chain three and turn your work over. One, two, three. And we're gonna jump right into between these last two double crochets from the previous row. And we're gonna place a V stitch. This row is gonna be right side up V and upside down V. So right side up V, double crochet, chain one and double crochet all into that same spot. Now we're gonna do an upside down V. We're going to double crochet on both sides of our complex stitch. So jump straight over to the chain one space, place a double crochet, and double crochet on the chain one side of chain one space on the other side of your complex stitch. So we have a V that goes like this and a V that goes like this. So now we're gonna place a V into a V. Go straight into the V stitch and place a V. Now we're gonna go into the chain one space and double crochet. Skip all that complex stitch and place a double crochet after it. Now we're gonna place a V into a V. And a double crochet into the chain one space after that V stitch from the previous row. Now we're going to skip over the top of that complex stitch place a double crochet directly on the other side. And place a V stitch into a V stitch. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet, all into that stitch. Now a double crochet into the space in between and skip your complex stitch and place a double crochet right after it. Continue working this pattern all the way down to the center point of the shawl. I'll meet up with you at that point and we'll work the center of the shawl. Okay, so I have made it down here to the center where the four double crochets are which I actually just pulled out a stitch, so let me fix that. Okay, so into the next chain space, you're gonna place a V stitch. Into the next chain space, you're gonna place another V stitch. Okay, now you're gonna chain three. One, two, three. 
And we're going to place a V back into that same space we just placed the other V stitch. So one more V stitch in there. So there's in that very center chain space, you now have a V stitch, a chain three and a V stitch. Place a V stitch into your next chain space. And now we're gonna continue working pattern down the other side of the shawl. Where there is a complex stitch, you have an upside down V stitch. So double crochet and double crochet right on the other side. Where there's a V stitch, you put a right side up V stitch. Go ahead and continue that down this side of the shawl and I will meet up with you at the very end and we'll finish this row. Okay, so we're down here at the end to our last two double crochets. We're gonna split those two in half and place a V stitch in to the spot between the two stitches. And now you're gonna place a double crochet into the third chain, one, two, three. So into that third chain is your last double crochet for this row. Now I will be changing my color at this point. If you would like to change your color at the same time, you are more than welcome to. It is optional, but here is where I will be changing my color. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll meet right back up with you and we'll begin on the next row. So I've got my color change and some stitch markers lined up here. And this is more for me than it is for you. But I guess in a way it would be for you because it's gonna make me flow a lot easier. Um, this is the start of the virus stitch pattern once again. So, even if you have not changed colors, you're still going to chain 10. This is the beginning of the next row. So chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. You're gonna skip that first V stitch and I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so y'all can see where I'm at. Okay, so we're going to skip the double crochet, the chain one and the double crochet. So that very first V stitch and single crochet in between the V stitch and the upside down V stitch, which is over your complex stitch. Now you're gonna chain four, one, two, three, four. And we're gonna jump over the upside down V and single crochet right after it into the space. We're working into the spaces between the V stitch and the upside down V stitch. Now we need to chain one, two, three, Four again, we're going to jump over the V stitch and single crochet into the space between the V stitch and the upside down V stitch. And now we're going to chain four again, one, two, three, and four. And we're gonna skip the upside down V that's over the top of your complex stitch and place a single crochet into the space between it and your next V stitch. 
Now we're going to work over the V-stitch with a chain of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Go ahead and single crochet on the opposite side of that V-stitch. That is how we are going to work down the side of our shawl here. So we have our big loop at the end, three sets of chain fours, and then a chain seven. Now we're gonna work three sets of chain four again. So one, two, three, four. Skip the upside down V, place a single crochet between it and your V stitch. Chain one, two, three, four. Single crochet on the other side of that V stitch. Chain one, two, three, four. And single crochet on the other side of your upside down V. Now we're back to a chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Skip over your V, single crochet on the other side of it. I'm gonna go ahead and remove those stitch markers and we'll continue on. Okay, so we just finished a chain seven. We now need to do three sets of chain four. So one, two, three, and four. Skip over your upside down V and place a single crochet next to it. Chain one, two, three, and four. Skip over the V stitch and place a single crochet next to it. Chain one, two, three, and four. Jump over your upside down V stitch and single crochet next to it. Now we're back to a chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip over your next V stitch and place a single crochet into the spot beside it on the other side. Now we're back to our chain fours. One, two, three, four. Jump over your upside down V stitch and single crochet next to it. One, two, three, four. Skip over your V stitch and single crochet next to it. One, two, three, four. Skip over the upside down V and single crochet next to it. Now we're back to a chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Skip over your next V and single crochet next to it. Now we're back to our chain fours. One, two, three and four. Skip over your upside down V and single crochet next to it. One, two, three, four. Skip over your V stitch and single crochet next to it. One, two, three, four. Skip over the upside down V and single crochet next to it. Now we're down at the center of the shawl. You're gonna chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now you're gonna skip the next two V stitches. So here's one, here's two, 
and we're going to be working into the chain three space at the very end. We're going to single crochet there. And then we're going to chain seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. We're now going to skip over the next two V stitches and place a single crochet into the little space after them. And we will start with chain fours again. And we're going to continue down this side exactly the same way we went up the other side. Hopping over the top of the upside down and right side up Vs. Two, three, four. And I will remove these stitch markers to make things a lighter weight on me. And I will be right back. Okay, let's continue on. One, two, three, four. Skip the upside down V and single crochet on the other side of it. Chain one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Hop over your V stitch and single crochet on the other side of it. Chain one, two, three, four. Hop over the top of your upside down V and single crochet on the other side of it. Do that two more times. One, two, three, four. Hop over your V stitch, single crochet on the other side of it. One, two, three, four. Hop over the upside down V and single crochet on the other side of it. And we're back to a chain seven now. So the idea is on the very end, you have a large loop, then you have three chain fours, and then you have a chain seven. You're gonna have one, two, three, four, five before your corner, which on this corner, on the point of the shawl, there is two large loops that we are going to be working around. And then you will continue up the opposite side exactly the same way, placing your chain spaces evenly with the other side and you should come out with five of these large loops on the other side plus your two large loops down at the end. I'll meet up with you when I've reached the end of this side. Okay, so now we've come to the end and we need to do our last big loop and we're gonna chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And double crochet down into the top of the chain three. So into the third chain, double crochet. And turn your work over. Now we're going to chain one, two, and three. And place nine more double crochets into this chain space. Once you have completed that, you should have a total of 10, including your chain three. 
Now you're gonna single crochet to the first chain four space. Chain one, two, three, four. Single crochet to the next chain four space. Chain one, two, three, four. Single crochet to the next chain four space. So you have two chain four spaces now. And now into this chain seven, you're gonna place 10 double crochets. And this is your repeat. I will meet up with you down at the center point of the shawl, just to go over how to work the center once again and then I'll let you finish this row on your own. Okay, so I've made it down to the point of the shawl and in each of these loops down here, you're going to place 10 double crochets. So all the way around, you will have a total of 20 and then you continue up the other side of the shawl, working it exactly the way you was in pattern. So here we are with 10 double crochets on this side and 10 double crochets on that side. And just gonna continue on by a single crochet to the chain four space. And one, two, three, four. Single crochet to the next chain four space. One, two, three, four. Single crochet to the next chain four space. And then 10 double crochets into the chain seven spaces. Go ahead and continue on and I will meet up with you at the very end to show you how to finish off this row. Okay, so I've made it to the end and I want to double crochet my very last number 10 double crochet in this last loop into the third chain. So one two, three, whoops, double crochet spring. One, two, three. Just so that way I'm still keeping everything nice and symmetrical and sturdy. There we go. Now you're gonna chain one, two, three, three and turn your work over and we will begin the next row and if you know the virus stitch you know how to just keep on going but i will work through the repeats with you if you do not so now we're going to place one double crochet in each and every double crochet across so you will need 10 double crochets including this very first chain so that makes two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now single crochet to the first chain four space and chain four. One, two, three, four. Single crochet to your next chain four space and repeat. 10 double crochets, single crochet to your chain four, then chain four and single crochet to the next chain four. I'm going to meet up with you when we get down here to the point of the shawl. Okay, so we're down to the point of the shawl and the only thing that you need to do is place one double crochet in every double crochet around, which means you will have a total of 20 double crochets from this side to this side. 
and you're going to continue working on in pattern placing double crochets into the double crochets and single crochet around your chain four chain four single crochet around your chain four i will meet up with you at the end of this row all right so we are now at the end of that row and we're going to chain one two three four and turn our work that is our first double crochet and chain one this is the row that we do our chain ones in between every double crochet so go ahead and place a double crochet into the next stitch chain one and double crochet into the next stitch chain one double crochet into the next chain one continue working all the way across You will have 10 double crochets with chain ones in between. When you come to the 10th double crochet, that's when things are a little bit different. Okay, so here is our 10 double crochets with chain one spaces in between each of them. On the 10th one, you do not chain one. We are going to double crochet into the first double crochet of the next fan, skipping this chain four. That is how we jump our chain four space and continue on with a chain one and double crochet into the next. You are going to do that all the way to the other end of the shawl, including over the top of your 20 stitches at the center of your shawl. When you have reached the other end, I will meet up with you and we will work on our next row. Okay, I have reached my last double crochet of my last 10 double crochets. Now I'm going to chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and turn my work over. We're going to repeat these four rows that we just finished all over again, and we will be adding these virus fans in between the previous ones. So we have our chain 10. We're gonna skip that first space and single crochet into the next. Now chain four, one, two, three, four. Skip the next chain one space and single crochet into the next. Chain one, two, three, four. Skip your next chain one space and single crochet into the next. Chain one, two, three, four. Skip your next chain one space and single crochet into the next. Now you're gonna chain one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We're now gonna skip our next chain one space, the next two double crochets. So we have this chain one space, the next two double crochets, the following chain one space, and into the next chain one space, we will single crochet. So now you can kind of see we have a single crochet and then a skip the chain one space, skip this upside down V, skip the next chain one space and single crochet into the following. That is where your sh new shell will be added or your new fan 
will be added. I'm gonna continue working that all the way down the side. So now we need one, two, three, four. Skip your next chain one space, single crochet into the next. Chain one, two, three, four. Skip your next chain one space and single crochet into the next. Chain one, two, three, four. Skip your next chain one space and single crochet into the next. And here we are again between the fans. We need to chain seven and skip, 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 and single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we skip, 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 single crochet. Chain one, two, three, and four. <laughs> your next chain one space, single crochet into the next, and you're just gonna continue working that same repeat all the way around to the other end. I will, however, when we get to the point of the shawl, I will show you what you need to do to continue this on. All right, I am down here to our 20 double crochets. I'm jumping this last section between the two fans here. And we're going to continue just like we was. We need three chain four spaces. So one, two, three, four, skip one, and a single crochet into the next. One, two, three, four. Skip one, single crochet into the next. One, two, three, four. Skip one and single crochet into the next. That is our third chain four space. Now we're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You're gonna skip one and single crochet into the next. Now we're just turning our work so we can work down the other side and we're going to repeat. Chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Skip one, chain one space, and single crochet into the next. And now our three chain four spaces before we jump to the next fan. So one, two, three, and four. Skip one, single crochet into the next. One, two, three, four. Skip one, single crochet into the next. One, two, three, and four. Skip one, single crochet into the next. And now one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Here's where we jump all those stitches. Skip, 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 and single crochet. And now we're back to our chain fours and chain sevens down the side here, all the way to the very end. I'm gonna meet up with you down here at the end and show you how to finish that last chain. Okay, so we're down to our last chain. Our last chain is a chain of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now we're gonna double crochet into the top of that third chain over here. So one, two, and three. And that will complete that row. Okay, so now we're gonna begin row 21 by chaining one, 
two, three, and turning our work over. And now it's a matter of repeating what we did down here, up here. So we need nine more double crochets into this first chain space. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Just double check that you have a total of 10, including your starting chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. You're gonna single crochet into the first chain four space and chain one, two, three, and four. Single crochet into the next chain four space, chain one, two, three, four. Single crochet into the next chain four space and then place 10 double crochets into your chain seven space. That is your repeat all the way to the corner which is the point of your shawl. I will meet up with you down at the point where we're going to use those two big loops at the bottom to place 20 double crochets. So continue on and I'll meet up with you at the point of the shawl. Okay, so I've made it all the way to the point, which is where we have our two loops. And you're gonna place 10 double crochets in each of those loops. At the end, you should have 20 double crochets across, across the bottom here. And then you'll just start over, single crochet to your chain four and continue working down this other side in pattern. Okay, so I am at my last 10 double crochets. I've placed nine into the loop and my 10th one is gonna go into the one, two, three, third chain. There we go. And that is the 10th double crochet. So I'm just gonna adjust those accordingly. All right, so let's begin the next row by chaining one, two, three, and turn your work over. We're just gonna repeat the same process that we just did by placing one double crochet into each and every stitch. So you will have, including your chain three, 10 double crochets Once you have your 10 double crochets, you're gonna single crochet to the first chain four, chain one, two, three, and four, and single crochet to the next chain four. And then repeat, placing one double crochet in every double crochet. When you come down to the point of your shawl, you're gonna place one double crochet in every stitch around and you will have 20 double crochets at the point. Continue working up the other side and I will meet you when we have reached the end of this row. Okay, so I have made it to the end of row 23 and I am just about out of yarn. I have one row left of this color to do, I'm pretty positive I'm not gonna make it across. 
So I'm going to end up breaking into my second ball. So if you're following along with me and using this particular type of yarn, um, you will definitely need two packs, which I anticipated. Uh, unless you're using all of one color and then going to the next and so on and so forth. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna end up breaking into my second ball of this orange color before this row is next row is over. But let's go ahead and get started with the last and final row for part two. Okay, so you're gonna need to chain one, two, three, four. And that is your first double crochet and a chain one. Turn your work over and let's begin row 24. Double crochet into your next stitch and chain one. That is your repeat across these 10 double crochets. Then when we get to the 10th one, we don't chain one. We just skip right over that chain four and double crochet into the very first double crochet of the next fan. Let's go ahead and do that now. So double crochet, chain one. Double crochet, chain one. Double crochet, chain one double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one. This is our last double crochet, so just double crochet into it. Skip your chain four and double crochet into the first double crochet of the next fan. That is your repeat all the way. Chain one and double crochet. Go ahead and continue working into the pattern as such. And I will meet up with you at the end of this row, which is row 24. Well, as I anticipated, I ran out of the first ball and almost made it to the <laughs> point of the shawl. So I'm going to go ahead and connect now. So if you are following along with me, you will probably be doing about the same thing. Okay, so I am at the end of row 24. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and cut away because I will be starting the new color when we pick up again for part three. So here we are. We have the first section and the second section. So I will reconvene with you all next week for part three. I hope that you are enjoying this crochet along to this point. And remember, if you have any troubles or have any questions, feel free to contact me via email or instant messenger, Facebook, all of the above. <coughs> so here we are. This is what we look like so far. All right, everyone, be blessed, be a blessing, and I'll see you next week.